We're Kaylee and Lindy, and each week on this vlog, we take you behind the scenes of our small two-acre homestead in western Washington State to show you exactly what it's like to grow your own food and live a little bit more sustainably each day. After some setbacks this year, we are getting back at it and starting some exciting new projects, so join us. out to the garden. Where are we at with animal chores? Oh no! Oh um, no. I've been compromised! Bailey! Oh no. Can you turn it off? Okay, hold on, hold on. Let me set the camera down. Emergency! It's an emergency, folks. Ah, ah, ah. I'm coming, I'm coming. Ah. Okay, pump this off. I had things leaking out of my belly. I don't think it was supposed to. I've been compromised. I'm so sorry. I've been ruined. Okay. I think I'm gonna have to be thrown away. I don't think I'm recyclable. <laughs> Maybe we, um... I feel really icky. Let's go inside. Let's go clean up. We'll be back. <sighs> okay, hi, good morning. Good morning. Good morning again. Yeah, take two. Okay, hi, we're back. <laughs> hi, good morning. <laughs> so, sorry, we don't normally start off that way, but if you saw last week's that vlog, was yeah, we've been adjusting a little bit to some new things, so you can go check that out if you want. Yeah. <laughs> it's what if. Yeah, but it's a gorgeous morning, a little bit overcast, it might rain, so we have a lot of catching up to do. Ah, <laughs> yeah. I guess, like, I don't know, we've been taking it nice and slow, so now we need to do some catch up. But the garden looks amazing. The perennial bed behind us has filled in so well. Our new garden bags, if you saw us setting up that area, are working so well. They made it so easy. They better work well. That was hard work. <laughs> it was. Stanley's crying because we didn't invite him over here. You're fine. Stop. No. So I think this weekend we're gonna try to just start getting caught up on some of the little stuff and also mix in some fun projects. I'm trying to keep Lindy slow. Like now that she's getting her energy back, trying to keep you under control is nearly impossible. Please. Yeah. Hi buddy. First things first, we need to go do some chores. So we're gonna go pick up some poop and clean some stalls and we'll check back in with you all after that.
Okay, so I have to brag about how good the garden looks after mowing it. We've been mowing, weed eating all day. And Lindy is now power washing. I can't make her stop. I can't make Stanley stop either. Um, <laughs> but we just figured it's a good day to just get everything done. So please ignore the noise in the background. Um, but as much as I hate mowing, it always looks so good out here after it gets mowed. So even though, yes, it's a bit of a pain to have to weed eat the alleyways and all the garden, all the pathways, have them weed eated and have to mow them regularly. But honestly, we had gravel pathways in Idaho and I would take this any day because in Idaho, we spent all of our time basically weeding the pathways. And here at least I don't have to do that. So I don't know, for us, it works really good. It works really well in this environment. So we love the grass pathways, um, especially after they're just mowed, looking good like this. So while Lindy is working on power washing the house, I'm going to do some weed management out in the pasture. There's just, we're at that time of year where there's a lot of weeds that have popped up and they're all forming their blossom head right now. So if I can weed eat them down, it really helps because obviously like those aren't going to go to seed. So we try and manage it like that throughout the summer. Obviously like we hand pull like uh, the tansy and things like that that are super invasive. For other ones are just like cat ears and things like that. Um, we also have a lot in basically in the brassica family, um, just really common weeds in our area. So. Most of those I just weed eat down to keep them under control so that they're not blooming um, and then spreading those seeds everywhere. So it definitely helps to manage it. We've been managing it that way for the three years we've been here. And honestly, the pasture looks really good and we have noticed less and less weeds every year. So I'm gonna get started on that and should have probably already done the first round. <laughs> but oh well, better late than never, right? So I'm gonna get busy. <laughs> it all day so we just got finished and so yeah it's late it's like 5 30 and we started mowing and weed eating and all of that at like nine o'clock this morning and yes we do it all by hand around here i i don't know why apparently because we're crazy <laughs> look, at your, Lady muscles. look at your face am i dirty like look at all this stuff i thought i was dirty although i already wiped off a lot of it but yeah, I don't know why we do it all by hand. I can knock it over like <laughs> how gross you are. I thought I was gross from weed eating. Uh, your face. <laughs> okay, we're gonna go take a shower. We're gonna do showers. Are you calling and me? Then, dirty? Yes, you need to you need to I'm take a shower. Right now. <laughs> you wanna give me a hug? No gross. Come here, baby. Please, no. <laughs> don't touch me. Uh, so yeah, so we're, she, yeah, that one needs to clean up. I need to clean up and then, then what? Then you'll give me a hug? No. <laughs> maybe, maybe if you're cleaner than that. And then maybe we drink some wine and have a fire. Okay, drink some Jesus water? Yes. <laughs> uh, all right, we're gonna go get cleaned up. <laughs> Way better. Okay, so we're all cleaned up. So I wait, think... I have to test it. Okay, give me a hug. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm clean. She she accepted. Okay, so I think we're gonna go get some wine because we don't have any, which is odd. <laughs> That's a party though. Oh, and Stanley says <laughs> it's, Stanley. it's food time. It's not. Whoa, it's it food is. Time. So do you want to feed the dogs or at the pony time? I can go let Pony walk. So we're letting the goats out to enjoy the half freshly mowed pasture. I made it about halfway through. So the goats are obviously much less discriminant than the horses when it comes to what they eat. Um, the goats are browsers versus the horses are grazers. So the horses primarily stick with things like the clover and the grasses. 
and the goats will eat a much wider range of plants. So while they might not eat everything, they'll do a much better job on the weeds and just more of that like rougher stuff that the horses don't generally want to eat. Like you can see here all the tall grass that the horses have left, all these weeds along here. And yeah, he's happy as can be to eat those. So it's nice to have multiple species that you can run through a pasture because what one leaves, what's waste for one is feed for another. Oh, is it nuzzle time? These boys are so sweet. So every day they have nuzzle time. <laughs> it's the you scratch my back, I'll scratch yours. So we kind of talked about it in our last vlog that we are unfortunately rehoming our, our big boys, um, our halflingers, just to keep things a little bit simpler and easier. They're obviously a lot more to manage and maintain than the ponies and the goats. So we're still looking for the right home for them. <laughs> Who would like them? Yeah. <laughs> so it's nice to just be able to spend these moments out here. We never come out here. It's just nice. Watch the goats enjoy the pasture. They are loving this. We just found the raspberries. Good morning, good morning. So I am just getting started on chores this morning. Um, I'm making, I'm making Lindy stay in bed. Not that she's objecting to it, but someone overdid it yesterday, surprisingly, despite the fact that someone else said, are you sure you're not doing too much for your first real day back at all of this? And then someone else said, no, I'm, I feel great. And then someone else said, but are you sure? Because if you use all of your energy today, are you going to have enough energy for, you know, tomorrow? Or are you going to regret it the next day? Someone else said, no, that won't happen. And yet it did. And yet it did. So I'm out here doing chores while Wendy gets some extra rest. Good morning, beautiful. You want to come out? Go potty. He's like potty trained, I swear. He will not pee in his stall. Unless if he absolutely has to. So he waits in the mornings for me to let him out so that he can go potty. Huh, buddy? Come on, Andy. <laughs> okay, let's go get his brother. I'm coming. It's no mystery.
folks it's time to start in on today's fun activities so we have our little back porch area here our little back patio and we are out here every day so what we want to do now so we have obviously like the patio here and then we have our fire pit area and then we have this like grassy space and then our cars. So what we want to do is basically give this more of like a courtyard feel where it feels a little bit more enclosed. So what we're going to do is put planter beds all along here so that basically like helps to block the cars, the view of the cars, and just also create a little bit more feel of privacy. So we found some amazing planters. Let me show you guys. All right, so these are from Vego Garden Beds and I am so excited about these. So they are steel, food safe, um, like the coating on them is completely safe. They don't heat up from the sun because of the type of steel and the type of coating. And this is their two tier cascading one and it's exactly what I wanted for this space. We will have three of them total along this space. And once the plants grow in, I think it'll really help to hide and block the cars. And here's obviously the patio space. Again, it's kind of messy right now. We have the ladders out and everything. So I'm going to measure out where they go and start removing the sod because what we want to do is put pavers around them just so we're not having to worry about the grass growing up next to them. We don't want to be weed eating right against them and damage the beds. So this should be a really fun project and I think, I think, don't quote me on this, but I think it's going to be a project we can actually get done in a day. We'll see. <laughs> but I'm gonna crank some tunes and just start removing the sod. Head inside. We go to a friend of the store. We'll be back. You're so good. Alright, bye bye. calculate things correctly. I thought this could be a day-long project. 
you thought half a yard of sand is enough. You also thought that 26 stones would be enough. So we both, we both have had some poor judgments today. I forgive us. I don't know if I do. I just, I really wanted this to be a project that didn't drag on, that got wrapped up so we could get back to all the other projects that <laughs> have been dragging on. I guess if we get everything done, then what would we do? Pretty much. Okay, well, we obviously didn't get it done in one weekend, but that gives you guys something to look forward to, right? I'm mm -hmm. sure they're just anxiously mm -hmm. waiting on the yeah. edges of their seats to see what's going to turn out like. 100%. Yeah. <laughs> so one more project to add to the, the never ending list of projects to finish, but we're out of supplies for now. So we will see you all next week. Thanks for hanging out with us again. Be sure to like, subscribe, do all that good stuff if you want. If you really, really want. Bye. You're sweeter than the sun.